Yep, yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot. again work back ends gonna go in grab my trailer from the other yard because I left my trailer in Edson for those guys and I don't know if they actually went and did the job or not because the picker hand texted me and he said he hasn't been working so we're gonna go ba -ba -ba, go to Calgary to the North Industrial Park and pick up it's on about a horizontal drill and a hoe so I don't they're really tiny and I can haul both but and then it's got to go to Gibbons so rather we'll just bring it back here today and then go to Gibbons tomorrow because it's well, it's noon now so by the time I go to Calgary and come back it'll be pretty late and sometimes people don't like to work late especially due to COVID so people aren't working late uh, we'll see I don't know for sure yet, but I know we're going to Calgary. We'll pick that stuff up and we'll come back to here for sure. Uh, yeah. Conditions are sloppy. Roads will probably be fine. Everything's going to be fine. But looks like it isn't going to snow today, which is good, which doesn't really matter. But it's going to be one of those kind of sloppy days. Lots of washer fluid. I'm sure the highway actually highway 2 will be dry for sure always is uh, maybe we'll see some past carnage because three days ago when I came back from doing that bed work it was a complete storm and I seen stuff plastered all over Facebook that people were actually chaining up on highway 2 which is flat so I don't get that um, when I came home where there's lots of hills it was icy but I didn't have to chain up, and if you drive properly, you shouldn't have to chain up. So, especially when it's flat, but I know some guys don't know how to drive, so. All right, we'll go in, we'll hook up, we'll get after, get going. Stay tuned.
coming through here. Manager plates. Got a guy behind me pulling a holiday trailer. Must be commercial. I don't know who's buying a holiday trailer this time. See, most of the RV places are uh, got like half inventory. Nobody's spending any money. Nobody's buying. No one's being Berta. Seventeen on the drives. Nineteen on the trailer. Nice and light, Bobby. Can't trust in 360 camera because that battery doesn't last very long. So I'll put this up on the back of the D sign and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. 
confession. I don't think I have any rubber tire backhoe experience. I don't know, damn well. I don't have any horizontal drill experience, but I got the rundown. It's pretty basic. Hand controls, a couple buttons to push. Don't worry about this thing though. Oh. Should have backed up a little more. Easier coming on, it's gonna go over. Coming off, it's gonna get caught. But anyways, turn this off to save some power. Undo the chains quick, toss them off to the sign. I don't know how this thing is in the dark, but fire in the hole. Wait for the beep. Then start. Uh oh, it's not starting. <laughs> That's what he said to do. Maybe you hit the kill switch back here. That might have been it. One, two, three. <gasps> Engine control unit offline. Wow, well, this is no good. There we go. Safety first. Oh, that is as high as I can go. Alright. Too bad it's dark. You guys don't get to see nothing. said he'd be here pretty shortly so don't forget my gloves now now to learn a rubber tire mac chains off chains off Let's put my gloves here so I can drive over them handle Piece 
metal in here. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it. Uh, key, key. There it is. Look at that. Where can I put you? Cold start. Where's the turn signal? It's on. Oh. It's a button. <laughs> Idiot. Not way there. That's dangerous. You give me just like a... Put you there. Oh, right to the wall. I'm gonna get a seam right in my face. This is a backhoe built for midgets. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I'm here. He's like, yeah, these four switches. I'm like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Well, that's pretty easy. That's kind of all I needed. Oh, these have to be down, that's why. No? Damn it. Somebody's yelling right now, man, like it's right there, you moron. Would help if it was daylight, but whatever. That's enough to get it off. So there was buttons on the joysticks, I don't see any. What's that button? I'm dead. That does nothing. Alright. Waste the battery life here. Let's just get her off. Oh, I just hit my head on you. How about this one? Right now, I can't see because it's fogging up in here. What? That doesn't stay open? Peter. Oh. Wiper. Wiping. Oh, it's fluid in there. Oh, it's just making it worse. Okay. Looks like I've been blessed with summer fluid. Alright. Imagine one of these are brakes. There's a parking brake. There's, there's the parking brake. Check! Forward, check. It's probably a better view from outside, but here we go. Pretty basic to operate. He's like, yeah, hey, you've, uh, Operated excavators before. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's just like that. I'm like, okay, shouldn't be a problem. It's not just like an excavator. Hopefully, I lifted that up enough. Yep. Winning. That'll work for me. Parking brake on. Lights off. 
गई आप क्या कैमरा चेक माय ग्लव्स आर ऑन द ट्रेलर पेन बैक पॉकेट कैमरा नंबर टू स्टिल रिकॉर्डिंग There's somebody the other day. It's like, man, it must take you twice as long to load and do stuff. I'm like, literally, jump out, put the camera on the truck, put this magnet one on the load or whatever. I'm gonna put that, press record, and I just do my thing, which is what I'm gonna do right here. Yes, I might have took an extra three minutes. Pretty much her here. Yeah. Gotta flip this around, it's on the wrong side. It should be up here. You heard it probably catch there a little bit. It's even worse coming down. Yeah, so I pretty much ate that whole battery just for that probably 10 minutes of video. Which it's only like minus six. I mean, pardon my French. Man, I have to just write that up. No, I gotta put that on first. Two hands. Of course, it doesn't last, anyways. I don't think he's gonna stop. All right, well, put you back in the truck, keep you warm. Went to leave Calgary. The spring broke. It still opens and closes, but it's got no resistance. So traffic, Highway 2 in between Calgary and Edmonton is horrendous because it seems like everybody in Calgary goes to Edmonton. Everybody in Edmonton goes to Calgary. Nobody goes to Red Deer. So traffic does get thick and it's the world of the most impatient people. Alberta. Got some pasties. We'll just end it here. That's enough of that. Spot bot out. Back to you in the studio, Jerry. Not too bad at all there, spot body. So, uh, like always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. The more likes, the more comments, the more traction I get on YouTube, which seems to be... I'm driving around in the swamp with bald tires. I don't know what it is. I see other guys are just like... <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, man... Maybe it's just me. I'm like, a lot of the videos I'm watching, I'm like, boring, this is too long, that's not to the point, there's a lot of dead space. <sighs> it could just be me because I have attention deficit disorder, I don't know.
maybe. But yeah, okay. New videos, I don't know if anybody's probably picked up on, uh, gonna try to do new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. As long as there's work. If there's no work, you're gonna catch uh, replays of like road train stuff and then a bunch of Cypress stuff that I haven't posted yet, but it's old edit, so there's not a whole lot of talking, it's just music and video. Mostly time lapse too, so it's hard because I like the new format, I like the way things are going, and then I save older videos and then I look back at them <laughs> six months later and I'm like, I don't know if I want to use this at all unless if I absolutely have to. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.